We are going to do an activity which requires you to carefully listen to my directions. I will only say each direction once and it is your job to follow it. I will first tell you where to put the pencil on the paper I have given you. I will tell you a short story which will require you to move your pencil up, down, left, or right to a new box. I will tell you to draw pictures in different boxes as I tell you the story. Now let's begin. You need to begin with the summer camp one grid with the star on it. Put your pencil on the black box in the lower right hand corner of the paper. This is where the story is going to start. Finally, after months of waiting, the day you are leaving for camp has arrived. The bus ride to camp is very long and you do not get there until the sun has set. Move your pencil seven boxes to the left. When you walk out of the bus, you look up and see more stars than you have ever seen before. There should be a star on the box your pencil landed on. If your pencil did not land on the box with the start, you did not correctly follow the directions. Be careful to listen closely to my directions. Make sure your pencil is on the box with the star. Once everyone is off the box or off the bus, your camp counselor finds you and you walk down a straight gravel road to what you think is a little house. Move your pencil up six spaces. This is your cabin and it is where you will be sleeping during your time at camp. The cabin has a door and just one window. Draw your cabin in the box your pencil is. You walk into your cabin, unpack, lie down on your bed and quickly fall asleep. Before you know it, you hear a bell ringing in the distance. You know the bell means it is time to get up, but you make your bed and how to out the door for breakfast. You really don't know where you are going, but you just follow the crowd down a straight road. Move your pencil four spaces to the right. You sit down at the table with five other campers. On the table are large plates of food and a smaller circular plate for each of the campers. The large plates of food are passed around and each camper takes what he or she wants. You take two pieces of bacon, one spoonful of scrambled eggs, and one cinnamon roll. Draw your plate in the box where your pencil is. After breakfast, you head down a winding road to your first activity, swimming. Move your pencil down three spaces, to the left five spaces, and down two spaces. When you get to the lake, your counselor says, the sun is smiling down on you today, so make sure you put on sunblock. Draw the sun the counselor is talking about in the box where your pencil is. Because you are such a good swimmer, you are put into advanced swimmer group. You take a long walk on a curvy dock to deeper water. Move your pencil up seven spaces, three spaces to the right, down four spaces, and two spaces to the right. Finally, you reach the end of the long dock. The counselor explains each swimmer will get a partner and each pair will get a swimmer number. The swimming numbers will be counted off whenever the lifeguard blows her whistle. You are excited because your partner is a camper who shares a bunk with you. It is very important for you to remember your swimming number. It is your lucky number, which is three, added to itself, three plus three. Simple. Write your swimming number in the box where your pencil is. When you are finished swimming, you get out and sit in the bank to dry off. You are watching two sailboats race around a complicated course. The sailboats must go around buoys in a specific order. You trace the course with your finger. Move your pencil two spaces to the right, up four spaces, and to the left four spaces. The sails on the boats are shaped like triangles and have two circles on each of them. Draw a picture of the sail in the box your pencil is in. And that is the end of the activity. Please try Summer Camp Grid 2 with um, the smiley face on it. Good luck.